Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Is 243 a perfect cube? So firstly let us find prime factor of 243. We start with 3, 3 8 is 24, 3 1 is 3, then we start with 3, 2 is 6 and 7 is 21, 3 9 is 27, 3 3 is 9, 3 1 is 3. And that means after prime factorization we can write 243 as 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now let us try to group them into 3's. In this we can see that 3 into 3 remains. Therefore 243 is not a perfect cube. And in the answer we will write that since 3 into 3 remains after grouping 3 is in triplets so 243 is not a perfect cube. Let us read the question. Is 392 a perfect cube? If not, find the smallest natural number by which 392 must be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. So we have to find firstly whether 392 is a perfect cube. For that we need to prime factorize 392. On prime factorization we can write 392 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 multiply by 7 into 7. Now let us group the factors in 3. One group. But 7 by se 7 into 7 doesn't form a triplet group. So 392 is not a perfect cube. Now the second part of the question is to find the smallest natural number by what by which 392 must be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. If we have another 7 then we can have a complete triplet. So we can say that 392 multiplied by 7 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7 into 7. Now each factor is forming a perfect group of 3's. So also 392 multiplied by 7 will give us 2744. This implies that 2744 is a perfect cube. And hence in the answer we will write that the smallest natural number by which 392 should be multiplied to make a perfect cube is 7. Let us read the question. Is 53,240 a perfect cube? If not, then by which smallest natural number should 53,240 be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube? We have 53,240. First of all, we need to prime factorize. On prime factorization, we find that 53240 
this is equal to 5 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 into 11. Clearly, 2 forms a group of 3 and 11 forms a group of 3. And in the answer, you will write that since 5 does not appear in a group of 3, so 5, 3, 2, 4, 0 is not a perfect cube. Second part of our question is to find the smallest natural number by which 53240 should be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube. Clearly, if we divide by 5, then this 5 will disappear and we will be left with perfect group of 3s. So, we write 53240 divided by 5 will give us 2 into 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 into 11 and all the factors will make group of 3's so this is equal to 10648 so 10648 is a perfect cube and we will write that smallest number by which 53240 should be divided to make it a perfect cube is 5.